I'm now going to show you how to make a repeat drum with a water bottle, a can that has both ends cut out, and a two liter soda bottle. I'll use the water bottle for one end and the soda bottle for the other end to show that both can make satisfactory drum heads. What you first want to do is to take a utility knife and cut off the top and the bottom of your container. Once you have the tops and bottoms of your containers cut off, those can just go for recycling. Next, what you want to do is to, you can use any pair of scissors, I just happen to have these heavy, heavy duty ones handy. It's cut right up where the label was attached, because that's really not that usable. And there's really, you can't really tell on these too much. Just slid it up. Open it up. Place your can on there. And with a marker, trace about an inch away from the edge of the can as best you can. On both of your pieces of uh, material. It doesn't have to be exact or pretty. Then you'll take your scissors and cut off the excess material around that circle. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. Of course, you can make a better looking finished product if you make it exactly round, but it's not completely necessary. Okay, we have our drum heads here. What we're going to do now is to place the can on the drum head, and you can use many different things. You need to have a lighter, at least a lighter that has a blue flame on it, that shoots out some type of blue flame, like this, or a torch like this, or even a larger torch like this. You have to be careful with these because they do put out a lot more heat than you need to use. I'll demonstrate with this torch. What you do is just run, make sure you have an even amount of material all the way around the edge. Run this around and you see how it curls up. This material shrinks when heated and it will grip the rim of the can. You don't want to get it too hot. See, I've got a little too hot there, and it's uh, gone and turned white. It's really important to have this thing grip the rim of the can very tightly, and this one is, if you can see it there. What you should do is if you have, uh, if you're going to put two heads on a drum, or your, um, if you have a drum that has a bottom, you want to put a small hole in the drum. You do that with a nail. There. That will let the gases escape as the can heats up. It doesn't have to get very hot. Alright, now I'm going to put on this other one. This works fine, but my preferred tool is a paint stripper. A hair dryer doesn't quite put out enough heat to do this. But as you go around, you don't have as much danger of overheating material with something like this. But as you go around, it will come up and grip the side of the can. And with a stripper, you have a little bit more control. It takes a little longer, but that's fine. Finally, 
wants to go down and get on the edge. There we go. Okay, now we have both ends gripping. Now notice the corrugation still in the uh, water bottle. That will all disappear. Right now we have just not much to work with as far as the drum goes. But what we can do, now you can use this to heat up the head and you can hear it starting to get tight And now listen. It's very tight. It tends to deform the can a little bit if you apply too much heat. You know, I might have applied a little bit too much heat to that side. But that's okay. It's still, it's still a good drum head. Now this side, I'm going to use the paint stripper. All you can use the other. And you'll be able to see how this evens out and shrinks up. Now if you don't have a good seal around the rim of the can, you, you run the risk of this popping off when you're going through this tightening up process. These are very, very durable heads. They can take quite a hit from the drumstick. And that is the repeat one drum. This drum, which I call the repeat drum because it's a recycled drum made out of uh, peat one plastics. You'll find that on the bottom of a lot of containers, P-E-T-E, -E, and it's the one version of the plastic uh, that has the capability or the property of shrinking when it's heated. Now, the stuff like this is prevalent in a lot of countries. It's mostly just recyclable. Uh, you can find it alongside the road. Now, there are some other things you can do with this. Like this other one that we made a double-headed drum. You can put beads in it and make a rattle. You can put it on other materials, like this flower pot. And it does not have to be an all-metal can. This can is part paper. Uh, it does have a metal rim. And it, it makes a very nice drum. The thing that is important, though, is that the can must have a rim. If there's no rim, like on this side, this is a newer can. Uh, it's not really one that you can cut out. Uh, so this is really only going to be able to be a single head drum but it's still a satisfactory drum.